Kira Metz of Karras is known as a former advisor to King Voltest of Temeria and one of the members of the Lords of Sorceresses. We first meet Kira during the banquet on Thanet. During this banquet, she had noticed Geralt, and the thought of who he was had stuck with her for some time. Her question was finally answered when she needed to send Philippa, who was in discussion with Geralt, to Deathmold and Radcliffe. Before the Witcher regained speech, they were approached by a short, slim sorceress with long, straight flax hair. He recognized her right away. It was the lady in shoes made of horned agamas leather and green tulle bodies, which didn't even hide a detail as tiny as the spot above her left breast. Forgive me, but I must interrupt your flirting. Philippa, Radcliffe and Deathmold are asking for a few minutes of your time. It's urgent. Well, if so, then I will go. Bye, Geralt. We shall flirt another time. Aha, the blonde confronted him with her eyes. Geralt, the witcher Jennifer's crazy about? I've been watching you, wondering who the hell you might be. I was truly bothered by it. I know that feeling, he remarked, smiling politely. I'm experiencing it right now. Excuse my blunder. I'm Kira Metz. Geralt quickly managed to annoy Kira by joking about how he was a master magician incognito, pretending to be a witcher. After she asked if it was he who had placed an illusion of caviar on the table. Kira didn't appreciate this. However, the next comment that Kira makes is somewhat more interesting. No thank you, colleague magician, says Kira coldly. I don't drink. I cannot. I'm about to get pregnant tonight. Some magicians could still have children. Even though it was very rare, this line might indicate that Kira might have been one of the exceptions. Maybe she is actually able to get pregnant and give birth. But it may be more likely that she isn't able to get children and just used it as an excuse not to drink. For, in the following night, the Thanet coup took place. Something Kira knew about that was coming. And she had been conspiring with Philippa Alhart before these events. When Geralt saw her a few hours later, he barely recognized her. As she was now dressed in rough, masculine clothes, carrying a dagger at her side. Kira had just captured Terra Nova, with the help of some Redanian soldiers. Geralt was surprised at with how much power she hit her fist against Terra Nova's face. But when she raised her fist again, it became clear to Geralt how she could have hit him so hard, for he saw the flash of brass knuckles on her fingers. Once Kira noticed Geralt, she became angry, for he wasn't supposed to be there or know about what was happening. Kira didn't have time for Geralt and left him in the hands of Dijkstra, while she and Deathmold went to Philippa. Once the Sire of Freeze became one captured, Kira couldn't believe that she was called a traitor by Radcliffe. Kira demanded her to be let go, but to no avail. Kira and the Northern conspirators arrested all those who allied themselves with Nilfgaard. Yet Desaya didn't believe them. And after hearing Siri speak while in a trance about what was happening in the world, she decided to free those that were captured, only to quickly realize her mistake. A few mages died, but Kira survived. She did, however, lose her consciousness for a moment after an explosion. She had been overpowered by Reens and the Square Tell. Terra Nova, who was out for revenge, kicked her and threw her out of a window. Kira landed right on top of Geralt, who was trying to get up to where the fighting was. Kira also wanted to go back, but couldn't walk because she had broken the leg due to the fighting. Geralt carried Kira while she gave him directions and would cast spells to kill anyone that would stand in their way. The carrying, however, was very painful for Kira, and as soon as Geralt knew where to go to get Yennefer and Ciri, he left the injured Kira behind. Is that just your leg, Kira? You have broken ribs. 
Don't leave me. I have to. I'll be back for you. Sure. Geralt wouldn't come back for her, but she managed to escape and took refuge in Monte Calvo. Because right after the events of Tenet, all mages were expelled from Tumeria, leading to Kira and Triss losing their positions as advisors to King Foltest. Kira Metz was one of the first members of the Lodge of Sorceresses. She wasn't among the most powerful members of the Lodge, yet she was very tied into politics and tried to do what was best for herself and magic. Kira was one of the youngest members of the Lodge, being around the same age as Triss. In comparison to Triss, however, Kira had less control over her emotions and acted a bit more childlike most of the time. After the events of Thanet, Kira had really started to hate Vilgefortz and couldn't wait till she and the Lodge could get their hands on him. Something she had all too often talked about in their meetings. Once the time came when the Lords thought they may have learned Vilgefortz's location, they sent in a task force, led by Kira Metz and Sabrina Glevesic. Kira wanted revenge for her broken ribs, and was driven to get Vilgefortz. As Kira and the others snuck around Rysron Castle, looking like a hellish fiend, they couldn't find anything. The castle was empty, no one was there, and Kira wasn't happy that she couldn't get her revenge. The lords destroyed Rysron Castle, out of fear that their blunder would be discovered. It wasn't long after when Kira was allowed to make something explode once again, as Kira, Sabrina and Triss were sent to Stiga Castle to blow it all up, to destroy all the evidence. During the meeting, where Ciri appeared in front of the lodge, requesting permission to go see Geralt in Rivia, Kira was among those that voted against her leaving. For even though she saw it as a way to repay Geralt for his aid on Tenet Isle, she did not trust Ciri in returning to the lodge. And she was right. From this part onwards, there will be spoilers for the games. Between the books and the games, Kira kept herself busy with the Lodge. It seemed to go well for her. She still hadn't regained a position as advisor to the king, yet she managed. That all changed when Nilfgaard and Verdania learned about the Lodge. Bredovit started his witch hunts, and Kira was no longer safe. She couldn't go to Nilfgaard or Verdania, because they both would have preferred her being dead. And so she went to Velen. Velen at the time wasn't in the middle of the war yet. However, it still lacked the luxury that she had gotten accustomed to. The first few nights after Kira arrived, she was bothered by nightmares, calling her out into the swamp. But the thing broke contact and stopped bothering her after she once entered her dreams lucid. Kira might seem like she was in Velen without any reason, except hiding. But this is not quite true. She most likely went to Velen because of the mage Alexander, who was trying to cure the Catriona plague. She kept contact with Alexander and tried to get a look at his work, yet he was very secretive about it. However, with the war coming to Velen, the Lord of Velen, Vesserat, fled with his family to the tower on Fike Isle where Alexander lived. Not too long after, the tower was attacked by angry peasants. Among the dead was Alexander. Kira might have taken this opportunity to go to the tower and get the notes Alexander had made about the studies. Yet there was one problem. There were rumors of a curse on the island, as well as it was kind of hard to get information out of dead people. The solution to this problem, however, arrived in the form of a mysterious elven mage who offered her a magical lamp that would allow the ghosts of the dead to be seen. This elf, however, disappeared before Kira received the lamp, so for now, she was stuck, until she and Geralt of Rivia met each other once again, not having seen each other since the Tenet Coop.
Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. She and Geralt went to the elf's hideout to find out more about what he knew about Ciri, and Kira wants to get the lamp she was promised. She and Geralt work together to get through the caves. They, however, found something that Kira didn't believe exist. The wild hunt. They overcame the obstacles and Kira retrieved her lamp. But she was not done yet with Geralt, for she needed his help to lift the curse on Fike Island so she could get into the tower. Once this curse was lifted, she invited Geralt to get a few packages for her, which were meant for them to have dinner together. Depending on choices, this can lead to Geralt and Kira sleeping together, which was something Kira kind of wanted ever since Geralt saved her on Tenet Isle. By the morning, however, Kira is gone. She went to the tower on Fike Island to retrieve the notes from the mage Alexander about the cure for the Catriona Plague. She wanted to use these notes as a bargaining chip with Relevit, so she could come out of hiding as she was tired of living in the swamps, without her luxury. As Geralt, you can make several choices. You can let her leave with the notes, you can kill Kira, or you can invite her to Kaer Morhen with or without those notes. If Kira is allowed to go to Relevit with those notes, he doesn't care about the cure and has Kira impaled on a spike. In the case of Kira being invited to Kaer Morhen, she's hesitant to come, yet she decides that it can do no harm and goes to the Witcher's fortress. She didn't know, however, that the Wild Hunt would attack the castle, and if she had known beforehand, she wouldn't have shown up. Kira stood her ground during the attack and saved Lambert's life. Two of them got to know each other a bit after the battle, and they decided they kind of like each other. They set off together to find a cure for the Catriona Plague. Few can refuse a sorceress, and Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I always prefer to keep Kira alive, as she hasn't done anything, in my opinion, that she deserved death for. She is one of the most innocent members of the Lodge, and simply longed for luxury and someone to be with. Her world got turned upside down due to war and conspiracies. I've gotta say I'm surprised that CDPR put a detail in the small spots above her left breast in the game, and it's something that's so very small, but apparently they did pay attention to that part. Also something, Metz is a city in France. What do you think about Kira Metz? What were your choices in The Witcher 3? Till next video. Bye.